In the upcoming week on Days of Our Lives, tension escalates as Tate surprises Holly by scaling her bedroom window to express his affection, culminating in a heartfelt kiss. However, complications arise with Nicole and EJ's breakup interfering with the tender reunion. Meanwhile, Officer Goldman's actions lead to the discovery of Tripp and Wendy in perilous circumstances, prompting a tense rescue operation that sparks debates about its necessity. As the drama unfolds, Tripp and Wendy's lives hang in the balance, requiring immediate CPR to survive. Amidst the chaos, Paulina's miraculous recovery prompts speculation about the identity of an angelic visitor, potentially triggering Abe's long-lost memories and unraveling a tangled web of secrets. Elsewhere, revelations about the pawn ignite suspicion and accusations, plunging John into a desperate quest to prove his innocence. As the stakes rise, alliances shift, and hidden agendas come to light, the residents of Salem brace themselves for the unforeseen twists and turns ahead. In other soap opera news, dramatic cliffhangers and unexpected twists continue to captivate audiences, hinting at the resurrection of long-lost characters and the resurgence of age-old rivalries. As beloved characters confront their pasts and grapple with uncertain futures, viewers are left on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next installment of their favorite daytime dramas. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Preview for the week of March 11th on Days of Our Lives, Tate kisses Holly, John makes a fatal discovery, and Tripp and Wendy need CPR. The teaser trailer for the week of March 11, 15 Days of Our Lives spoilers indicates that Tate Black would scale Holly Jonas' bedroom window in order to let him in and express her surprise at his audacious gesture. Tate will be overcome when he sees Holly looking so vibrant once more. Tate will give Holly a kiss and make her feel completely loved once he confesses how much he has missed her. Naturally, after Nicole and EJ DeMera break up this small reunion, things will get complicated. According to previews for other days, Officer Goldman closed the tank's vents, and Steve Johnson, John Black, and Ava Vitali will locate them. That will be a comfort for Ava and the others to finally locate, as that is where Wendy Shin and Trip Johnson have been detained for the entire time. Regretfully, questions will arise as to whether or not this rescue was necessary given the circumstances. Day's teasers state that when Trip and Wendy are pulled unconscious from the tank, they will require CPR right away. Ava will insist on knowing if they are breathing while John works on Wendy and Steve applies chest compressions to Trip. There will be moments of terror, but Wendy and Trip will overcome them and be able to share some wonderful news with their loved ones. Days will reveal the identity of the angel that unexpectedly appeared in Paulina Price's hospital room in the interim. You are it. In the weekly teaser video for Days of Our Live, Paulina yells and displays the wedding band that the female angel is wearing. This celestial guest is most likely going to be Lexi Carver, who was once married to Abe Carver and cherished their relationship until her tragic passing. Though Abe is unable to recall his past interactions with Lexi or anybody else, he might eventually identify her via pictures. In any event, Paulina will experience a miraculous recovery, much to Abe's concern that she is going to cross over to join Lexi. It appears that this will pave the way for Abe's memories to surface as well. John will then hear from Constantine Meliunis about how the pawn betrayed his beloved Katharina in Greece. Though John would prefer to think Constantine is teasing him, when he hears Steve confiding in Marlena Evans, he will have to accept the prospect that the discovery is real. Steve will discuss how Victor Kiriakis sent him on a mission with the pawn to Arya and how everything went awry, leading to Katharina's unfortunate end. Are you saying that girl was killed by John? While a distraught John listens out the doorway, Marlena poses the question. 
stay in for updates on John's efforts to prove his innocence in the future as days of our lives spoilers suggest that things may not have gone as planned. Days of our lives may have hinted to the resurrection of, spoiler, more than a decade after his death, despite the countless deaths that remain before us. This time, we had many Friday cliffhangers at once, with multiple lives in jeopardy. Days of our lives has been killing it when it comes to cliffhangers. But are they sufficient to make viewers care about narratives they've found difficult to relate to? The finest arrangements. Therefore, Clyde is now free because they broke him out of jail using Ava's family finances in addition to the planning of John and Steve. However, it is said that he is the head of a whole criminal operation, in addition to having a corrupt cop as a lover and an unknown number of prison guards employed by him. Why did he require any assistance from them for this? Only Black Patch was able to break him out, right? Yes, I disagree with that. In the same way that I've been griping about Ava and Stefan's inability to handle Clyde, this seems overly staged. Why not? Due to plot. Whichever came up with the worst plan, Ava turning on them, believing she could threaten to shoot him and he would tell, or John and Steve believing they could hold Clyde until he gave up Trip, I'm not sure. As for Wendy and Trip, I thought their things was sweet, but I still need something more than sweet for them. More fire has to be there, whether it's internal or external, I'm not sure, but I need something. Still, I suppose they sort of gave up? And what happened to breathing deeply rather than chatting endlessly? I guess when you're nearing the end of your life, you take solace in whatever you can find, and discussing marriage and a future together is one of those things. Days of Our Lives did a great job of creating the impression that they won't survive, but if they do, perhaps they'll emerge from it with a renewed resolve to enjoy life to the utmost. An angel touched me. For the other major cliffhanger, go over to the Paulina side of things. It was terrible and heartwarming to hear Lonnie and Chanel discuss how their children are either too little or not at all to know their grandmother. But that's also very personal to me. Being alive long enough for his grandchildren to remember him has always been my dad's objective. However, I have a suspicion that many people deal with that, which is why it was so subtly successful. Regarding Paulina, the figure and the bright light weren't only the result of bad lighting. I don't believe that Paulina and Abe are being visited by an angel, even if spoilers have revealed that they are. It's one thing to save someone from certain death, but this angel would also need to perform a miracle on Paulina's failing heart. That seems a bit excessive. Rather, I have a theory. Given that his memory only spans roughly nine months, Abe's admission that he still doesn't remember the majority of Paulina's existence and his statements that she is the love of his life are accurate. What if, instead of Paulina, the angel is there for him? Her purpose is to restore his memory before he loses his marriage. If so, what use has it served to hold on to this memory loss for this long unless there has been a significant, lovely, emotional comeback? The fact is, Abe hasn't always considered Paulina to be his true love. That was Lexi for a long time. What if she is the angel sent to save her cherished husband and restore his life and joyful memories prior to Paulina's passing? It would be truly fantastic if they were able to get Renee Jones back for this. Having said that, I do not believe Paulina is dying. Wendy and Tripp are still in a terrible situation, but she needs a heart. And there are Officer Goldman and Clyde. Since John and Steve were recently let free, I have a suspicion that they will execute a last-minute coup and eliminate the villains. To be honest, Goldman is the most likely to cave in and give Paulina a heart, even if I'm sure most of you want to see Clyde receive his. What's included in a name? We discovered Everett's true identity. Robert Everett Stein, using Lynch as his mother's maiden name. Everett remembers his mother but not his father, so that could indicate something, I thought. It also contributes significantly to his dual personality. 
I feel that we will soon meet the notorious Bobby Stein, now that Marlena has begun to rummage through his head. After Marlena got things going, we found out that Everett probably has a lot of issues floating around upstairs. Hypnosis is the next topic of discussion. As ardent watchers of soap operas, we are aware that as soon as the hypnosis is released, multiple personalities tend to emerge quickly. Or Bobby might come out if Stephanie and Chad rekindle their relationship. It seemed that Everett was a little taken aback to see them all close and amiable once more. I still want him involved in drug-related activities. Perhaps when Clyde is dealt with, the drug problem will continue and people will come to the realization that there was more going on than they had previously thought. However, at this time, it might simply be a pipe dream. Uncontrollably. Right now, the Holly, Nicole, or EJ crap is simply driving me insane. It operates along these lines. Tate didn't give me the drugs, said Holly. EJ, but we're going to ruin his life because he could have. Holly, however, he didn't. Nicole, perhaps he did? Without any concrete proof, let's pursue him just in case. Holly, however. Shh, shh. You're too weak to talk, said Nicole. Holly, please quit acting as like you can't remember and just speak the truth. You could have had their sympathies more, but there's still time. You kind of blew past that when you initially woke up. You can own up to your foolishness as a teenager before you ruin Tate's life beyond repair. You're still a child, therefore they will forgive you. However, you really must speak up. Nicole dismissing Brady in such a way. Oh no. That's not how she should know him. Sloane has at least come around to this now. Though I'm sure Wally Kurth was busy with General Hospital, Tate needs a lawyer who will be available, thus I wish they could have done more with Justin. In the end, this might be the chance Sloane needs to save her own skin. Stray Thoughts Praise be! We return to the capsule in time. With a long list of justifications for why the key is required to open it. All right, all right. It was acknowledged, at least. Constantine is being really considerate by stepping back while John and Steve are attending to other matters. He really is the slowest moving villain I have ever seen, though. Stefan was taken for granted by EJ. Daddy would be very proud of that. Since the DA is about to end and he is returning to Demera, I would suppose that it is his time. Soap Tropes, Baddest Bad Women Villains So that today's evil ladies could run, who walked? On International Women's Day, we honor the wonderful deeds of amazing women. However, some of the most amazing women in soap operas have been utterly horrible. Call them wicked lady villains. Honestly, without these outrageously beautiful women, daily drama wouldn't have the same drama. On International Women's Day, go full villain. See Sheila on Bold and Beautiful, Jordan on Young and Restless, Selena Wu on General Hospital, and Ava on Days of Our Lives, among others. We don't mean only lying, manipulating, and deceiving women. We are discussing actual villains. Similar to offenders. Like in Masterminds of Crime. If it weren't for these original female villains, none of today's bad ladies would be where or who they are today. I defied the law. Have any of them ever buried a woman alive? Ava may be a mafia princess, Teresa may be tricking Alex into believing he's the Kiriaki's heir, and Sloane dares not make parenthood her entire personality. Yes, dilettantes, get back. We are discussing Vivian Alamein. She was so enraged with Carly, the mother of Nicholas, the boy Vivian stole and reared as her own, that Vivian staged Carly's death. Carly was also the love of Vivian's nephew Lawrence. She was buried alive after that. Right before Carly wakes up. Vivian was determined not to miss a second of her suffering. 
for two-way talks, she therefore fitted a monitor with both audio and video. That's going to be the best ever, woman or man. Mother load. Brooke, poor thing on all my children. Cobra, the chief of a narcotics ring, was blackmailing her. Peg, Brooke's mother, would be killed unless she and her husband Tom carried on with their drug trafficking, as Cobra had alleged Brooke's father had done. Tom and Brooke were forced to comply. However, it was later discovered that Cobra was actually Peg. After holding Brooke captive, she confessed that she wasn't actually her mother. Do you now understand why Brooke never actually received any of Erica's threats? She had experienced far worse. Baby adoration. These days, Nina is acting more like an obtrusive mother toward Chance. However, her kid has already been shot several times and declared dead. She's not overreacting, exactly. But there's also Nina's other son. The one that, since birth, she had stolen from her. By Rose Deville, the most sly baby broker in Genoa City. However, prior to her deceiving young, single teenagers, giving them drugs to induce delivery, and then informing them their children had passed away, she had been selling the kids to equally desperate adoptive parents. Rose was a madam who conned another naive young lady into being a prostitute. Nikki was that stupid young woman. That Nikki, indeed. Nikki the idiot believed she was merely providing a escort. Not to worry. The John suffered a cardiac arrest. After disposing of the body, Rose intimidated Nikki to keep quiet. Rose also hired a hitman to kill Greg, Nikki's ex-husband, just to be sure. Anybody would be wise enough to avoid becoming involved with such a nasty person as Rose. Jordan is more swift than him. Foreign terrorist. Rose, Peg, and Vivian caused panic throughout the community. Helena from GH toured with her act. In Port Charles, she scared Laura and Luke. Laura was abducted along with Lucky, Lulu, Jake, and others. The evil of Cassidines extended from Greenland to Greece and all points in between. Charlotte might believe she's cunning and intelligent. She still has a long way to go before she can even come close to being the wicked grand dame that her grandma was. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.